Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Jennifer Pinuelo. I'm an online ESL teacher and a mom. So for today's video guys, gaya ng makikita nyo sa title, I'll share with you my experience uh, applying as an online ESL teacher for a different platform. Yes, I'm still with 512. However, during the second week week of January, I reached the service agreement deliberation um, status. Okay, meaning my account was locked or under prohibition for a number of days. Medyo mahaba siya, 8 days. And because that was already my second time being in that status, I was not sure if I am going to be able to return as a teacher or if 5-1 Talk is going to cancel my agreement. Because of that, of course, I have to find a backup plan. And that's what um, pushed me or um, made me decide to look for a different ESL teaching platform. Right? So Native Camp is also an online teaching platform. Teachers are teaching Japanese students. Okay, of all ages, I heard that most of their students are adults. Yeah, so this is a good thing for me actually guys because this time I will not only be teaching children. So it's a good opportunity to improve my English skills as well because I'll be learning a lot of things. More things about grammar, vocabulary, and um, the different parts of speech Okay, and their usage of course. Unang-una sa lahat, ang gagawin niyo po ay tatanungin po nila kayo uh, ng inyong email address. Doon po yan sa Native Camp website, merong tab to click if you want to apply as a teacher. And then, they'll gather your information, okay, personal information. Okay, so again, it's an online form that you can just fill out and submit. Okay, after that, you're going to go through an English proficiency test okay, consisting of 40 items. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to fill in the blanks with the correct word or term. Ang tip lang doon, guys, syempre, is to read carefully and uh, comprehend. Tignan nyo po yung context ng sentence and that way you can determine kung ano po yung tamang salita, of course. You need to get a passing score of 90%. Okay, in my case, I got 95, so yes, nakapasa ako. <laughs> okay, so after that, you are going to go through a technical check. So once you are ready, meron lang naman po kayong ikiklik na tab so you can... Um, go through their technical check. So, everything is made easy and ready. All you have to answer is yes or no, whether you hear or if you can see the bars, if they are moving to check your microphone. So, once you are through that, meron na naman po kayong ikiklik na tab so that um, you will get an admin on the line who is going to conduct an initial interview with you. Uh, all they need from you is um, for you to tell them about yourself, to so prepare a short introduction, and then they're going to ask if you have a teaching experience. Nakapasa nga po ako, walang two minutes ang initial interview. And then after that, the interviewer will tell you right away whether you passed or failed the initial interview. Up after that, uh, the admin will give you a set of instructions of what to do next. Isi send niya sa inyo yung link to the learning kit for the demo class. And then they will also uh, include there, okay, and on that page, the lesson flow. Kung ano po yung mga kailangan yung gawin before you start uh, with the lesson proper. Ang pinaka-critical part ng application sa uh, Native Camp is the demo class. So, I'll give you some tips and if I am not able to mention everything that you want to know, you can comment down below. Once na nag-ding-dong na or narinig nyo na yung bell, the admin's name 
you will appear in the chat box. And also the lesson material that she wants you to use for the demo lesson. So the importance of you noticing that or knowing that they are there is in case you hindi nyo marinig or maintindihan kung ano yung pangalan ni admin, at least nakita nyo na doon sa chat box. And she won't need to tell you what um, lesson material to open. So it's like a plus point that you are uh, attentive to details. And then after introducing yourself and greeting the student, the, the kunwaring student, Tatanungin nyo siya if she can hear and see you clearly. And then, tatanungin mo kung your speaking face is okay. And then, ito yung nakalimutan ko po nung unang demo class. I forgot uh, confirming the lesson number nakalagay sa ilalim ng picture. So, don't forget to mention that because that will cause you to retake the demo class. Okay, like for myself, I had two retakes. Okay, so na-consume ko lahat yung tatlo, guys. Number three, okay, use the chat box. Po. Maximize the chat box for everything. Okay, pronunciation correction, grammar correction, um, explanation of grammar rules, okay, everything na kailang. Parang kinakausap nyo din si uh, student sa chat box. Ayan, so it's going to be uh, an advantage kung medyo mabilis po kayong mag-type. Okay? Because you can type while hearing and explaining. So, magmumultitask po kayo dito. Ito guys, pinakatatandaan nyo sa demo class, there are two things na kailangan nyong i-master. Number one, familiarize yourself with the lesson flow. Okay, memorizing what you have to say step by step is going to help you big time. And practice making corrections in terms of grammar. This is a uh, native camp's way to determine if you are knowledgeable enough or uh, if you will be able to handle difficult questions or questions like such since may mga magiging estudyante po tayo will never know na professionals uh, business owners something like that or students who already have um, knowledge or good English speaking skills maybe in the higher level okay so yun so itong demo class basically is also the training ground for applicants so although there are three chances of you uh, doing the demo lesson, I suggest guys, na sa first pa lang, you show your ability na. Kasi, I am not sure if they are giving everyone this chance to retake the demo class twice. Okay, because I also did my research and there were those who uh, fail even sa pinakaunang take pa lang. Maybe they have to see your potential for them to give you a chance to retake. Okay? And also, if they give you a chance to retake, uh, remember or take down notes of the feedbacks that the admin is going to give you so that you can improve yourself on those areas. Like for myself, I know that there is a mistake or an error in us sentence pero hindi ko po siya ma-explain ayan so ang ginawa ko po ay sa Skype po meron pong AI tool doon na ang kausap niyo ay si Bing of if you are familiar with that so if you put a sentence there and then you put in the end grammar check sasagutin niya po kayo okay so ilalagay ko po diyan yung example ayan so sasabihin niya po sa inyo kung bakit mali ang sentence, okay, at ano ba dapat. Okay, so, practice nyo po yun. Parehong strategy ni Bing sa pagbibigay ng correction. I suggest that you review or grammar rules, uh, prepositions, sentence structures, subject verb agreement, tenses din ng verb. Ayan. And speak slowly if you are making corrections. In that way, you can gather your thoughts 
and be able to say what what you want to say b- without stuttering. Also, there are some parts in the demo class na papahintuin ka ni admin and we'll ask you to skip some parts and move on to a different part. So, you should be able to do that smoothly. Okay, so, importante po talaga na memorize niyo po ang lesson flow so you'll know where to proceed. Pag t- sinabi ni admin na proceed to this and that. So basically, yun lang po ang mga kailangan nyong gawin para makapasa po kayo ng demo class. Of course, I also researched, watch videos of those who were able to uh, go through or experience being in a demo class. At merong nagtata- mga nagtatanong, bakit? Why I failed? Okay, meron namang mga nagsasaya. Pwede nyo pong panoodin pareho. So, you won't do the same mistakes that they had. And also, you will be able to um, learn the best practices of those who were able to pass. Okay, so uh, at this moment, guys, uh, update lang. Na-unlock na po ang aking uh, account sa 5.1 Talk. So for now, that I am still waiting uh, for things to get done in Native Camp, meron pa po silang mga ibang requirements. Nagtuturo pa rin po ako sa 5.1 Talk because I have re- regular students. Na kahit matagal po akong hindi magturo, like now, Okay, it has been about 8 days na wala akong turo. Pero kabubukas ko lang po kahapon and all my slots are fully booked na. Income wise, babalik po ako dito sa 5-1 to habang hindi pa po ako read, read, ready, <laughs> ready sa native camp. If you have questions, let me know so I can make a separate video. And thank you very much po for supporting my channel. I hope that I am helping. Just comment down below. I'll find time uh, whenever I can to reply to your comments. Thank you for coming to my channel. See you again next time. Bye.